Oh, look, I wouldn't think it was fair to say that the Walker family is the most dysfunctional in Summer Bay. I, I think we're the only family in Summer <laughs> Bay. I think we're the most dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. I actually think we, we are like any other family. You know, we, we uh, have periods where we get along brilliantly and there are times when uh, there are some speed bumps that you have to uh, negotiate over, um, like, any, like any regular family. You yeah, know? you know, the brother and sisters have fights and stuff like that and don't always get along with dad's rules but I think yeah we are just like any other family and I think you know we've gotten better over the time that we've been together I think we've become closer and got to know each other a lot better since moving into the bay yeah I think so I think definitely and you know again touching on that regular family thing um remembering there are three teenagers um in the household and well and you know or, or, or maybe there's a couple who are just out of the teen years, but, you know, they're young adults and teenagers, and so there's well, always going to be a lot of toing and froing. Adults, let's say. You know, a- a- adults? Is 18. Sorry, yes, of course, and adults, yes, Stop that's it. right. Are we dysfunctional family? No, I, don't think I wouldn't so. say we are. I'd say at all. we have our ups and downs. Like any family, really. Yeah. But, you not know, dysfunctional. Sisters. Sisters. United. Yes, all the not way. Dysfunction- functional. Functional. I'd say. Not Super, dis, really efficient. Not dysfunctional. <laughs> <Yeah>. Functional. <laughs> well, that's actually a good point because Sasha coming into the family um, made everybody reassess just who and what we are as a family. Um, and I think that's brought us all a lot closer. Yeah, definitely. Um, when Sasha moved in, it was kind of crazy <laughs> and, uh, you know, some stuff happened. She accidentally... Killed her boyfriend, but I think, uh, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, Shouldn't laugh about that, I suppose, no. <laughs> no, yeah. it's very serious. No. Uh, it's just a show, it wasn't real. She didn't really kill him. Uh, yeah, but I think she has improved a lot in her attitude and towards the family, and, yeah, we're definitely all kind of one big unit now. Yeah. I mean, remembering a sash came from a rather troubled yes. um, childhood, uh, and... So it's taken a while for us all to uh, to work through that, um, but I think we've done a pretty good job of it, actually. I think the Walker family is as tight as a family can be. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that Sid appreciates the support of his kids, and he didn't always have that. Didn't always have the support. Mm. Kids uh, felt a little bit um, indifferent to, uh, to Daddy's activities. Yes. So um, it's, it's quite nice. It's quite nice now. Well, uh, as uh, as the young Charles just mentioned, that Dex is uh, he's a young adult now. He's yeah, um, you I know can make my own decisions. Well, I don't know if they're your own, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think the realization for, for 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 Sid is that you know his children are growing up, and he is a young man now, um, and he's always been a, a mature and responsible, together young fellow. But um, I guess it's always difficult for a parent, you know. That, that that stage where you sort of have to let go and trust. Um, and April is, a, you know, a terrific young girl. And I think together, Sid feels comfortable enough that they will, they'll, yeah. they, they will make it. I think the main concern for him is just the financial situation that we're in, which is kind of non-existent, really. I'm really <laughs> making not that much working as a nurse. And April's obviously at school, so... He's just concerned that we're not going to be able to pay the bills. and But April and Dex aren't really thinking about that. They just are kind of too excited about the whole uh, idea of moving out and getting away from the craziness of the farmhouse and the beach house. Well, they're, they're in so, love. Yes. They're in love, yeah. you know, and it's beautiful to see. And I think that ultimately, despite Sid's fears of finance, financial issues and so forth, I think he just he recognises love when he sees it and and he can see that that's what dex and april uh how they feel that's it's true love how they feel for each other so i think he's i think he's romantic at heart mm. sid really he's a bit of a romantic yeah, yeah well, absolutely yeah. Okay. Well, you never done it go? oh well you know i mean oh come on well i'm sure i display <laughs> enough <laughs> well i won't not go into that <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh he's always uh, had an eye on the ladies but um well, these ladies have an eye on him. It's a, on, on all the walkers. It's on all tough, the walkers, man. it's tough being a walker. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think I said that in a scene recently. Actually, <laughs> it's just, we're too charming. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a struggle, but <laughs> but I think ultimately that that's you know he, he's quite comfortable in the end and happy for Dex. But you know they haven't gone too far. 
Sasha is like so happy. She gets Dex's room. <laughs> she's like got what colours she wants to paint it. She's so excited. What about Indy? She's probably secretly devastated mm. that her brother's leaving, but to everyone else, she's loving it. Yeah. She'd never admit to Dex yeah. that she had a problem with him leaving because he's the annoying younger brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a girl's house. Yeah. It's what we've Ladies. always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think absolutely it'll, it'll change the dynamic. You know, anyone moving out will always change it. But uh, having said that, Sid's, Sid's, Sid's pretty pretty low down on the pecking order in that house. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's <laughs> like the management system. Is, you know, it's like Dex. Yeah, we're all on the top and Sid's kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah. His kids certainly uh, rule the roost. Um, yeah. Well, at least on the out, you know, outwardly anyway. Yeah. But yeah. I think, you know, we all respect Dad's decisions in the end even though, you know, they can cause some controversy. Well, yeah, and I think that's... And, and Sid understands that as long as, as, as you know, that, that is the way, um, he, 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 you know, then he, he'll have a happy household. That being said, though, it's definitely not going to be the same without me. Sorry. Well, it's just, you know, I'm holding that place together, man. <laughs> Dex, is the, Dex is the glue that binds <laughs> us all together. Who's going to... Uh, you know, pitchfork all that hay around and yeah. feed the cows. Kind of clean out the gutters, mow yeah, the lawns. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't do any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all jokes aside, though, I mean, it really is. I mean, Dexter has always been within the family. The the, the, the energy and, and, the, and the, the joy uh, when things are not so great, things are flat, you know, he's always seen the funny side of it and, uh, and, and left us all smiling. So he'll be a huge loss. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, I know I, we all have no one to Dex, tease. Yeah, Dex definitely brings the humour to the farmhouse. It is hey, just like epic. We're pretty funny. We're funny. I I'm mean, hilarious. but he's just speak for yourself. Uh, okay? All right, we're funny. <laughs> <laughs>